Well, hello, Teresa. How are you? Hi. We are live on What's for Dinner. Hey, everybody. How are you all doing? Hi, guys. What time is it? 4.30. 4.30 on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon? Yeah. So, what's going on for dinner tonight? Okay, so you grilled out steaks. You grilled out two ribeyes and two fillets. I did. And you do it in this pan just to contain mm -hmm. the grease. To contain the grease. And then also, I like to rub the, um, the steaks down with a little bit of avocado oil before I cook it. And then I also give them a good dose of uh, the Jane's crazy mixed up seasoning salt, which is this, this guy right here. So um, yeah, I cover them up with those and then I cook them uh, on both sides, usually about eight minutes on each side and they come out, you know, uh, medium to medium rare. Yep. So um, yeah, anyway. And then we cooked bacon because I haven't had bacon since I've been sick. Mm -hmm. So, Yum. and I can taste it now and yes. it's really good. And it smells really good. Mm -hmm. And then we did eggs. We did eggs. Where'd they go? Well, they're on our plates, but I cracked that one. Whoopsie. All right, so what do we got going on over here? And then we warmed up spinach dip from last night. Yes, we did. And rosette's garlic knots from Sunday. Mm -hmm. I forgot we had those. And then we've got, we can just eat the inner part of this avocado. There's some bad parts, but. Yeah, some avocado looks good. That, um, this rosette's, these garlic knots you made, I mean, it's, they're amazing because they are, it's butter and cheese and salt, and it's just really good, really uh, delicious. Yeah. So, anyway, okay. So let me ask you a question. Okay. All the stuff we made tonight, metabolically speaking, so remember we talk about metabolic health, and I know guys, we say this every single night, for, so for those of you who are watching us uh, pretty much daily, then um, I apologize to you, but there's a lot of people who are new and they've never heard this before, and there's also a lot of people who don't get it the first time, yes. the second time, the third time, you gotta hear it over and over again. So when we talk metabolic health, we're talking about our body's uh, reaction, <coughs> our body's reaction in relation to, um, to sugar and to insulin. Mm -hmm. So in other words, does, you know, does, uh, does the food we eat cause our insulin to rise and yes. therefore cause us to, um, to store more fat? So are, are these, are these, will these, do, these foods do that to you? None of these will, unless you added actual, um, bread, not rosettes cause this is almond flour, bread, pasta, potato with your steak, even a sweet potato, um, rice, mashed potatoes, all that fat then is going to be stored because your body has to burn the glucose, which is the bread, the pasta, the potatoes. In order to lose weight, your insulin has to be low. Um, so I was just getting charts ready for um, Thursday, tomorrow and Thursday. And um, somebody's insulin is 24.9, which is too high even for corporate medicine. But I want it between three and five. Um, and this person's A1C was not really hugely out of range, it was only like 5.4, which is normal for corporate medicine. So by the, tw by the time your, your corporate medicine provider diagnoses you with diabetes with an A1C, that's a three month daily average of blood sugars, you've had disease, metabolically speaking, for 15 years. Wow, so it's been getting un undiagnosed or missed or whatever you wanna call it for 15 years before finally it becomes full blown diabetes, and then it's not like it's not too late, but it's really that's a long ways. That's a very far. It's progressed a long ways, right. and now you've got a lot more work to do to backpedal and backtrack, and then repair that, fix it. Yeah, and this is hard because unless your spouse is on board with you, I have patients that are making two different meals, one for their family and one for them. That makes it very hard. We cook in every night, but Mark helps clean up. Like if I was doing the cooking and the cleaning and everything else in the household, that would be hard to sustain. But all we're doing is eating real food. Somebody asked me today if I worry about cholesterol. I don't. If you guys choose to do that, you guys have a choice. But I don't think cholesterol is a problem. There's never been a study showing it's a problem. What clogs up the arteries is sugar and inflammation. Sugar causing inflammation and nicks. So I'm not worried about my cholesterol. But nicks you have to your, choose. Yeah, nicks. When you're talking about nicks, nicks in the arteries. arteries by the yeah. sugar um, being you know, so inflammatory and so abrasive. Yeah. Um, you know, causing that. And then what happens, the, your body, the cholesterol does what it's supposed to do. Right, I mean, God didn't make our body to make cholesterol because it kills us. He didn't make our body to make hormones because it kills us. That's not how it goes. And if you lower your cholesterol too much with cholesterol lowering medicines like statins, your liver's just gonna make more because that's how your body was designed. And every time you nick your coronaries or your carotids, your liver has to make more to go cover it up, take care of it. Should we tell everybody watching what, um, what my uh, cholesterol was when sure. we had it? So mine was 300. It was 300 mm -hmm. and so uh, like when I go to the VA and I talk to you know then it's like oh you're gonna die you have oh, to take a step VA doctors yeah um, so like I didn't do that but I did get a CAC score done and I also got 
an angiogram, yep. right? And both of those show that despite my incredibly high cholesterol, uh, I was completely clear. I had no blockage whatsoever. In fact, the doctor, you even asked the doctor, what did you say to the doctor? You asked So her, I worked on the cardiac catheterization floor. So when she came out to tell me like, he's good, he has no blockages, he ended up having chemical pneumonia, but we didn't know that. Um, I said, um, no blockages, like it's 30% right now. And I know we don't do anything about that yet. And she's like, no, zero, like zero, like there's nothing in there. And I wanted to say, oh my goodness, he's on keto and he's on testosterone because that just makes them flip out. But yeah, yeah. Anyway. And your LDL is like 184 or 220 or something like that. But don't we want that super low? We want LDL low, right? The lipidologists do. But if you're, listen, if you're over the age of 60, that's, that's not wise for you. Um, cholesterol is important in the immune system and lots of other things. So hormones. Yes. It's usually important with hormones, yes. having cholesterol, testosterone, especially in men. Right. You block cholesterol production. The very next step is all your sex hormones. So all you guys on testosterone, when I get guys on statins, I've only seen two that have not had low testosterone. Wow. It's because of statins. Wow. Yeah. But then you go back and you say, no, I'm tired. I got, I'm not like interested in life. My libido's low. And then you know what they say to you? It's normal because you're old. Mm. And by old, they're talking 40 and up. Like, let's normalize not feeling crappy and not having someone just say, oh, you're old. Yeah, just gaslighting you. Yeah. Right on. Good stuff. That's all. So we just wanted to tell you guys that we uh, we love you all. And yes. just, we're hey, listen, so, like, well, first of all, tell us what you're having for dinner, yes. too. We'd love to hear that. But um, we love you all. We're your, your biggest fans. Like, we know that this is not easy. We yes. make it, maybe we make it look easy. We don't mean to make it look easy. Ah. But it's t taken a lot of years and a lot of work on our part to get to where we are right now with regards to being able to eat like this. So, anyway, we're here for you. And we're rooting for you. We're praying for you. And, um... Yeah, that's... Listen, I haven't said this in a while, but the reason we're so strict is because I had a health scare in 2018. It was what I tell patients and I've put on Facebook before, before don't wait till you're in that position of being scared and digging your way out. Start now when you're health, you still yeah, have some health left. Definitely. Definitely. All right, guys. Hey. Well, we will see you all next time and uh, bye. Bye for now. Bye.